Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to rock? This is the Noble Heretic here, back with more Salambo, the Battle for Carthage, also known as Spendius, Tales of a Rat Bastard. <laughs> so, last we left off, according to Matho here, Nar Havis is having some aiming issues. Although, as I said, I think that's a personal problem, but oh well. Spendius has done weirder stuff. Shooting pigs running around in a circle while trying to not shoot other guys. That's a that's one. Throwing a big glowing orb into water that spontaneously combusts. That's number two. And get lost as all hell. That's number three. Where the hell are we? Yeah, Salambo the Bell for Carthage, also known as getting lost everywhere. Is it this way? Ah, this way. Here's a new Midian camp. Okay. So they were supposed to have... Drunk dude's gone. They were supposed to have a siege tower. Are they not in their camp? Narhava. Oh, it went around in a circle. Okay. Whoa! Suddenly, a wild, a wild Etruscan appeared. Don't go towards Carthage, Fenius. You'll be caught by the shots from our war machines. This way? Nope, not this. Really sucks to be those dudes. They're still hanging. Okay, okay come on. Where are you? Oh, finally! Spendius, my men need you. They don't understand how to use siege weapons. Climb to the top of the helipool and help them adjust their aim. Have you have you ever thought of sending them to a doctor? Because after all, they make pills for that. Spendius, my men need you. Yes, 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 yes. Where is the Where is the tower? I was expect. I was, I was expecting some massive thing, not... Bloody hell, where... It would help if I knew where said siege tower was. I'd expected to... I w expected this to be easy to find, and we're looking for a great massive tower with a freaking oversized crossbow on it. There we are. I was waiting for you, Spendius. Climb on the helipole and adjust the ballista installed on the platform. We need to hit the banner hanging from the enemy's ramparts with a flaming arrow. I'm counting on you. That's the helipole? This is it? I was looking for something bigger. So what have we got here? Well-carved ballista. We got spinny thingies, spinny thingies. Fire, touch the fire. Now oh, we can't touch the fire. <laughs> More spinny thingies. Nice. So we've got some ammo. Is there a way to see how... Okay, I'm assuming that's the banner. Arrow. Flaming. No. Not, not yet. Oh, we put the arrows... Okay. Because it has to be proper, apparently. And... There it is. Pull the lever, Kronk. Okay. So we need to go up.
Let's just do one at a time here. I'm assuming we have infinite ammo? Whoa! Okay, so that's the tension, apparently. So this is the tension. Uh, let's try turning this down, see what happens. Still a little high. Is it just me or is that getting higher? Actually, if I'm right... all the way down and this all the way up. Okay, I think I I think I got it. Ah, so close. Just a little more on the a little more to the right. Not so much. Oh, come on. A little more. No, no, no. A little more on that. Just make it. Back down. <sighs> Turn you down, Tad. Turn you down, Tad. Boom! Finally! What's so important about burning a banner anyway? Okay, so banner is burnt. And by the way, we are not going down there. Why? As I said, for knowledge, there's some guy there who's going to try and shank us. See? Going to try and shank us. Oh, that's cool. It actually shows us with the dagger. Be really quiet. And... Surprise, motherfucker! Now to get out of here. How did I know that? I'm psychic. No, actually, I just, um, yeah, walk through. Sorry. So, Hamilcar has received full powers from the Senate. I'm glad to hear it. Tell the general that I... How do you talk without moving your lips? His cause is my own, and I will follow his lead. Hamilcar thinks highly of you, Onarabas. He promises you his daughter's hand in marriage once the rebels have been crushed. Salambo. But rumor has it that she's in love with Matho. What a twist. Hamilcar will not let his policies be dictated by his daughter's feelings. You are the one she will marry. As for Matho, he will die for not having understood where his best interests lay. I will be worthy of the esteem in which Hamilcar... I recognize the voice of has Mr. Hoodie. on a plan of action? Above all, he wishes for us to get rid of the slave Spendius, stealer of the Zaimf. It is dangerous to allow such a serpent to live. I guessed at Hamilcar's wishes. One of my men is already off to seal Spendius's fate. Perfect. Let's move on to the second part of the plan. Hamilcar will make a move. He wants you to be ready to attack Matho on the flank, while he charges from the front. The effect of surprise must allow us a victory. There's only one question that remains to be answered. 
Are you absolutely certain of your men? I speak for them. Follow me and we'll tell them that we're now fighting under the flag of Carthage. Sometimes it's nice to be a rat bastard. You get to know all the devious deeds before they're done. Cause, I mean, seriously, seriously, Nar, uh, Narhavas. I mean, did you think you could get away with that? We are the only ones allowed to do dirty deeds, especially that cheaply. Uh, hey, boss, about their aim problems. I find that hard to believe, Spendius. I've always known Narhavas to be a loyal man. Yeah, let's do... Uh, I know one-directional characters, but yeah, let's, let's let them know about the whole marriage deal. Salambo is mine! Narhavas will never have her! I'll break that smelly jackal's spine! We must move quickly, Spendius. The Numidian's defection has left us weak, and we need reinforcements. I've heard that you have ties with the eaters of vile things. Go find them, and persuade them to fight with us. Warn Authorite, and tell him to prepare for battle. Come back to see me once you've carried out my orders. No problem. Yeah, as far as getting the vile eaters on our side, it's easy. Just get them bacon. It's so easy, and I would fight for bacon. Hey, douchebag. Straight to the point, maybe? Naravas has gone over to the enemy? Well, I guess we really will have to wage war. Leave my tent. I need to prepare myself. Okay. And where are the bacon dudes? The bacon dudes, the bacon dudes. Hello there, bacon dudes. Welcome to our village. Oh, Spendius, skillful archer, killer of pigs, supplier of food, stealer of the Zaimph, scourge of the Carthaginians, destroyer of the waterworks, and conqueror of Hanan. Dang, you know, you guys, as much as... As many titles as you're adding on to me, I'm going to need, like, a bigger business card. I'm going to need, like, at least a 3x5. I mean, just seriously. Oh, this is the chief. Okay. Yeah, let's ha ask how they are. We are glad that you've captured Hanan. On the other hand, we haven't had a feast in a while, and our spirits are accordingly low. Um, how would you like to eat some Carthaginians? Destroying Carthage is a feat the glory for which must be yours. Destroy the city, and we will celebrate your victory by dancing on the ruins. Sounds like fun. We know not how to wage war on an empty stomach. Do you have any food for us? Ah... Uh... Hmm. The first two, the second two, I don't know. <laughs> the first one is pretty good. <laughs> Take Carthage and all that is edible in the city is yours. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Eat the city. <laughs> I'm curious. Let's try that. We don't feed ourselves with far away. Okay, um... Any copters tongues? What the hell are those? I'm actually gonna do a little bit of research because I don't know exactly what we need to get these guys. Ooh, ooh! I'm liking this answer. Okay, yeah. Um, Fortune Alliance, blah blah blah. Can no longer wage war on our own. We found all of this wonderful goodies in Hannon's bags, and watch our <laughs> and watch these guys' answers. 
Those are just snacks. Only good for preparing us for the main meal. Hanan himself. They like pork! <laughs> Done deal. In exchange for Hanan, we swear to follow you into battle. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, hey, Mathel. About what we're gonna pay our guys. <laughs> Gather the troops, sound the trumpets, and move forward. We will surprise Narhavas before he launches his attack. Spendius and Matho are quicker than Narhavas. They come upon the Numidian army, leading the Gauls, Baleares, Etruscans, and the Pariah allies, and chase them into the back country. It was time. Already Hamilcar is leaving Carthage. Spendius and Matho turn around to face him and attempt to catch him between them. Hamilcar immediately reacts. He sends some of his troops to fight Matho while he marches towards Spendius with his elite soldiers. To the south, Matho is victorious and pushes the enemy back into the city. To the north, Spendius is having problems. He quickly understands that he cannot hope to conquer, by normal means, one of the era's best generals. To save his army from being totally destroyed, the adventurer must retreat towards the Solitude Mountains. Alas, this happens to be the exact spot where Narhavas has regrouped his forces after his defeat. Like wolves heading Bugger. off game, Hamilcar and Narhavas push the mercenaries into the Hatchet Mountain Pass. They block off any possible escape by throwing rocks from the tops of the cliffs. Spendius and his men are caught in the trap. The enemy is content to keep the high position, waiting for thirst and hunger to do the job. Bugger. It's your fault that we're trapped here, Spendius. Our time is limited, and all I hope is that you'll die before me. I want to see you let out your last breath like a burst bladder. I'll find food. I know where There's it is. There's nothing in this pass. Not one single thing that a human being could eat. Ah, oh, piss! Ah, oh, we don't have the... I don't have the freaking cactus. Where's the cactus? Cactus! No, it's around here somewhere. Cactus! Oh, piss. One last one. Beware, unfortunate one. The cactus you've just picked up is no doubt poisonous. I've seen men writhing on the ground after having eaten such plants. Give me the cactus so I can have a closer look at it. Uh, no, because we've eaten it, this stuff already. Too bad for you. I warned you. Oh, Alton Z. It's your fault that... Ah, I'm gonna have to check something again.